as we prepare for the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, which happens to be also our first day, our feast day here in our parish in Santa Mesa. We will reflect on the 12 promises of the sacred heart of Jesus for those who will observe the first Friday devotion of communion, of reparation, going to confession, and receiving the Lord in the Eucharist every first Friday. There are many aspects to the devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus. So we will just be focusing on the 12 promises of the sacred heart. In 1673, in the 17th century, the Lord, in a private revelation, a series of apparitions, showed himself to a visitation nun named Margaret Mary Alaco. Her sisters in the community, especially her superior, did not believe her, and she got persecuted because they were thinking she was just hallucinating or she was just going crazy. But later on, with the help of her spiritual guide, a priest named Claude Le Colombier, Margaret Mary was given the help she needed in order to convince her community that she was not crazy that it was indeed the Lord that was appearing to her. And in the many apparitions, the Lord made these 12 promises to Margaret Mary and by extension to the whole church. The first promise of Jesus of the Sacred Heart. He will give all the graces necessary in, the, in their state of life. Ibibigay ng Panginoon ang lahat ng grasyang kailangan natin sa iba't ibang estado ng ating buhay. Let us not forget that the promise of Jesus is anchored on the covenant that God had with His people early on in the Old Testament, all of our, our faith, in fact, is based and anchored on this promise. When Adam and Eve and Adam and Eve sinned and expelled from paradise, the Lord made a promise to them: "Time will come when your Savior will come." As the Israelites were wandering in the desert, the Lord also made a promise to them, I will be with you. I will be your God and you will be my people. When Jesus called his disciples and when he sent them out, he also made a promise, I will be with you until the end of time. So the 12 promises of Jesus, of the Sacred Heart, they are not new because God always makes a promise and He always remains faithful to His promises. On the other hand, humanity is too quick to forget their own vows, their own promises to the Lord. So the promises of Jesus to Margaret Mary is not new. He always makes a promise and he is always true to his promise. That's the first point that we need to know and that we can reflect on. God, when he makes a promise, he will see to it that he will bring it to completion. There is no promise of God that He never gave to us, that He never granted to us. When He promised His Son, 
He did not only give us His Son, His Son also offered Himself for our sake. So the first promise, I will give them the graces necessary in their state of life. That is something we can count on. Because our lives are always dependent on the grace of God. There, by the grace of God, as one saying goes. St. Paul would say, everything is grace. Lahat ay biyaya. At kailangan nating maintindihan ang katotohanan ng ito sa buhay ng tao. We live by the grace of God. Yes, also by our own efforts, our hard work, our own talents and abilities. Yes, we act. But we must never forget that we live on the providence we live on the grace of God. Pag kinalimutan natin ito, pag sinabi natin sa ating mga sarili, nakakayanin ko lahat, doon tayo pinanghihinaan ng loob. We live by the grace of God. In this time of pandemic, this is true more than ever. By the grace of God, we shall conquer. By the grace of God, we shall be victorious. But the grace of God is offered not according to our wants. Kaya yung unang pangako ni Jesus ay, I'll give you the grace, the necessary graces that you need. Maraming beses, laging nagahanap ang tao ng mga bagay na hindi naman niya kailangan. We live by our wants, not by what is necessary. And that's why we get frustrated all the time. Mapaghanap tayo, mapaghangad tayo ng mga bagay na di naman natin kailangan. And I believe in this time of crisis, and even before this crisis, we have been living our lives that way, according to wants, not according to needs. Kaya tayo laging malungkot. Kaya lagi tayong frustrated. Because our expectations are not always met. Expectations for what? For things we don't really need. Mga bagay na hindi naman talaga mahalaga sa atin. So lessen the ones so that God can give us the necessary graces that we need. That we need. In our state of life, iba-iba ang estado ng ating buhay. Some are called to religious life, others are called to priesthood, others called to single blessedness, others called to married life. Whatever state of life we are in, the Lord provides. The Lord gives the strength. The Lord will always be faithful. Kung ikaw man ay isang nanay o isang tatay, huwag panghinaan ng loob. Totoo ang Diyos sa kanyang pangako. Kung ikaw man ay isang manggagawa na nawala ng trabaho, isang OFW na ngayon ay hindi alam kung saan kukuha ng pangtustos sa pamilya, kung ikaw ay isang jeepney driver na hindi mo alam kung papaano pakikinggan ng hinaing ng iyong mga mahal sa buhay. Kung ikaw man ay isang doktor o nurse, nagtatrabaho sa ospital, kung ikaw man ay namatayan o kaya may malubhang karamdaman ang iyong mahal sa buhay. Whatever state of life we are in right now, or even state of mind and state of heart, the Lord is true to His promise. He will be with us he will never abandon us. Our gospel today is so beautiful because it reminds us of what is truly necessary in life. The Beatitudes would remind us that we only need God in our life. We shall be blessed even if we are poor. We shall be blessed 
even if we are suffering and mourning because God is merciful. God is always faithful. So on this first day of our meditation on the promises of the Sacred Heart, let us remember this. We live by grace. We live by what is necessary. And the Lord will always remain, the Lord will always be faithful in the midst of our shortcomings, of our struggles in the different states of our lives. The Lord makes a promise, surely He will fulfill it in our lives. Buhay magpakailanman ng banal na puso ni Jesus. Sa aming mga puso. 